and welcome to the ANU Library video Mendeley Desktop with Word. I'm going to show you how to build your library today in three different ways. The first is by selecting an individual file where we add in a PDF to the library. Mendeley reads the metadata associated with that article and builds the reference in the fields within the library, so title, abstract and other publication information. The second way is to use the ANU Library Super Search tool. We can run a search for ecotourism and Australia. By doing that, we can then select the first article, full text online, that we want to be able to access. This one's about Ningaloo Reef and Shark Bay. I select download the PDF. Once that's downloaded, I can just click on the PDF icon at the bottom left of the screen and drag and drop that straight into the Mendeley Library. Mendeley reads the metadata associated with that PDF and again creates the article title, the journal information, abstract, the URL and attaches the PDF to that reference in the library. A third way is a very effective way is that then I add a folder full of PDFs that I've already saved earlier. I select the folder, hit OK and you can see that five articles or five PDFs have come across directly into the library. Again, as I click on each of those, you can see that the metadata has come across into the library. I can edit any of those as I go along. Now, working with Word, I've created a document beforehand with some play text. You can see that when we open up Word in the References tab, that I'm going to use Mendeley Cytomatic. This is a plugin that's available freely and can be added into your Word program. I'm going to place my cursor where I want to enter my first reference. I'm choosing the APA 7th style which is an in-text referencing style and I use Mendeley, the insert citation button to take me to my Mendeley library and I select the reference to add. In this case changing our aim. I use the cite button and that citation has been formatted neatly in my document. Let's do a second one. So place my cursor where I want that to be leaving a space insert citation, go to Mendeley. This time I'm going to choose two articles that I want to cite. So I choose both of those, hit cite, and they're added to the document. Now, the APA style enables me to add in page numbers. And to do that, I highlight the citation I want to add the page numbers to, select Edit Citation, select EVA 2016, and put in the page numbers I want to reference and then hit OK. And you can see that Mendeley has neatly formatted that after the year of publication, pp.23 to 24. I'm doing that now for the second reference in the document, adding in the page numbers for Kivik, and now I'll do that for Huber, my third author in the document. Adding pages 30 to 40, 35 to 40, and that's all ne neatly formatted for me now. Now the next step of course is to create my reference list. For APA it is called a reference list rather than a bibliography. So to do that I type in the heading that I want, place my cursor and then up to insert bibliography. And you can see that Mendeley has generated my three references according to the APA style uh, with the information that's required to provide evidence uh, of the citations. So there's my reference list. Now I'm going to prepare the document and all I'm going to do is highlight those uh, references and those citations in the document and hit delete. Unlike EndNote, I can do that in my document with Mendeley uh, and it doesn't create any issues. So preparing my document for my next referencing style. This time I'm going to show you a footnoting style. In this case it's the Chicago Manual of Style 17th footnote. All I need to do is put my cursor where I want that to be in my document, hit insert citation, then select go to Mendeley so that I can find the reference I'm wanting to cite, then hit cite and you can see that that reference is set up including the full details at the bottom of the page. Let's do that again. So number two, place my cursor where I need it to be, insert citation, go to Mendeley and this time I'll select two references that I want to cite, highlight both of those and hit cite. 
and again that's been formatted according to the referencing style. The next step of course is to add in our bibliography and in this case with the referencing style it is a bibliography. So adding my heading and putting the cursor where I want the bibliography to go, insert bibliography and that's been formatted for me by Mendeley in the style that I have selected. So as simple as that, this is how you use Mendeley and Word together, all the best.